What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna be checking out Max Caster most savage moments, man. Uh, the few times I have seen him, like his entrance in AEW, I'm not gonna lie to you. The comparisons of the old school John Cena when he would come out there and spit rhymes and stuff like that. The comparisons are there. But I will say, I'm not gonna lie to you, his raps actually get a reaction from the crowd and it actually gets a reaction from me they're actually not that bad i i will say that they're actually they can make the crowd pop in like a ooh ah way you know what i'm saying so i actually do like his raps man i think that's a nice little gimmick for him once again the comparisons to the the thug anonymous john cena is there but ultimately i do like his raps like they just they make sense he's up to date with current events and they do actually be they be some nice little bars man i can appreciate it so we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel man road to 90k i think we're like 5,000 away as of me filming this video so we're almost there and uh ultimately get to 100k man so let's get into this thing i'm expecting them to have some good bars man good bars good bars Christian dusted off the cobwebs. He used to be cool, but only when he had an edge. <laughs> Outside down, you tripping. Climb to the top. It's dusted in the place. But you're so ugly, you should paint your whole face. That's what he did. Call your girl. She all in my mentions. Trying to hit me up for some oral sessions. Oh. <laughs> hey, yo. I, that's, I like those little quips. Because yeah, you know, obviously her podcast is called Oral Sessions. We thought that's nice. That's nice. I some people may think it's cringe. I actually think it's pretty cool. I like it. Oh! <laughs> the reason for the people in the seats, y'all are less popular than Glenn Jacobs' tweets. Oh, <laughs> that was a good one too. Cause Glenn Jacob, his tweets were not that popular as of late. And you hear the crowd when his music hit. You hear the crowd get excited because they want to see what bars he's gonna spit. Like I said, it works. Only thing is to get his, you know, in ring character over, but he had that's something that's unique to him, and I think you could really take that somewhere if they really keep, you know, keep it going, man. Have you sent him pics from bed like Pete Davidson? <laughs> this is the last time you be at the show. They gonna have to remember you like the Alamo. The acclaimed is the best. I'm just being honest. I blow this bitch out the water like I'm Leah Thomas. Your girl wishes you were Pauly D. She told us that you have the smallest D. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm about to throw you around. Got these bitches running out like Antonio Brown. You <laughs> about to get your chin smacked. Trying to work here because you couldn't make an impact. Oh, <laughs> trying to work here because you couldn't make an impact. Impact wrestling. This is, he's, bro, his, his delivery is on point. He has the crowd biting off of his, like, waiting off of his every word. It's, 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 it's great. Bowen, Leo Rush can't hang in this environment. He's about to go into his 15th retirement. <laughs> Team Taz ain't got no plus. So hang with us if you want to be down. You're the only good thing from this depressing ass town. Damn. If you think you can beat the acclaimed, you better wait. You must be higher than the Chicago murder rate. Oh, whoa, hey, yo. Uh, damn. So maybe take a speech class, boys. You get it roasted by acclaimed and the ass boys. Hey, hey, hey. The acclaimed have a This whole city smells like a Porta John, and y'all look the other way like Ed or Geron. <laughs> that guy must be a genius. His big bald head just looks like a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Yo. Platinum Max. I 
I spit hot fire. Wait, who left Jungle Boy in the dryer? Ah! <laughs> Got more people hearing me than January 6th. Honestly, oh. I had something to say, but somebody made me sign an NDA. Oh. And that's the thing. They have a nice little intro. The crowd gets hyped for them, even though they, they're mostly heels, but it still works. Let me hear you say yes, boy. Look at him. I'm not tripping. He's overrated like Nashville hot chicken. <laughs> Hey yo, what? <laughs> okay. Hey yo. <laughs> I get what you're saying, but hey yo. The acclaim doing it on the big stage. We got more TV time than Brian Cage. <laughs> oh damn. You think you tough? Better stop that. You're gonna expire just like your contract. <laughs> Claim in the guns, you know we so arousing. We the best pair since Hook and Dan Housing. Mm. We the John Cena guys, that's so petty. But we John Cena, the young bucks, Janetti. Oh, that was that was nice. That was that was nice. That was nice. Dude is mad soft. There is no future if you take your mask off. <laughs> hey, that's an actual bar. Some people may not get the reference. There is no future if you take your mask off. That's Future mask off the song. That's a bar. Some of these, some of the fans may not get it, but us hip hop people, we get it. That's why I say the comparisons to him and John Cena are there, because John Cena was trying to rap at one point. But I ain't gonna lie to you, his bars and delivery is much better than John's ever was. It just worked at that time period. I'm just keeping it stacked. But this, this is nice. Lainey, I thought it was an extra from Real Slim Shady. <laughs> I'm the flyest on the air. Catch you slipping like Joe Biden on the stairs. <laughs> so check your thought. And you a one trick pony. Treat me like a breathalyzer. And. Oh, 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 oh. Be acclaimed on the mic. I'm a showboat. Jungle Boy stutters every time he comes to promo. <laughs> <laughs> cut your lights off like we cut off Judas. Sorry, Chris, I should get a shot at that diamond ring. Unless you want to be my sunshine and sing. Oh! <laughs> On second thought, I think I'll pass. You're not that cute, and I got a better ass. Thing and oh, my God. I don't know about that one, but I. Right. In years, you'll be on dark side of the ring. Jungle, I slap you like you John Stockton. Wait! Oh! You're not that cute, and I got a better ass. Thing in 10 years, you'll be on dark side of the ring. Jungle, I slap you like you John Stossel. Luchasaurus, I'm going to turn you to a fossil. You interrupt this segment. That's the only way you guys can stay relevant. The city is a damn disgrace. It's why Tom Brady went to Tampa Bay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's good to get heel heat. In a in the form of a rap, it works. City will get his head rocked. You got to get eliminated like the Red Sox. Oh no! We killing every city that we landed in. Packing that heat like my name's Arn Anderson. Oh! Lucha Bros don't stand a chance like Rocky Balboa. They're fake ass champs. <laughs> Everybody loves the Captain Sean Dean. Too bad I heard that he has a small peen. The side gal's gonna pay the cost. I'ma treat those bitches like Duke Lacrosse. <laughs> and what's that smell here in North Carolina? Oh, wait, that's Julia's. Oh! <laughs> hey, yo, Moxley, welcome back. But your wifey still ain't called me back. Oh. We'll send you right back to the garbage indies. Oh. We'll knock you out. Hey, the network called. He said, watch your mouth. Because <laughs> Mosh dropped an F-bomb on live TV. <laughs> yeah, even though it's TV 14, there's some words you cannot say. They, You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they're not big fans on it. 
And the F word is definitely one of those things. So the fact that he's kind of breaking kayfabe, like kind of introducing some real things into a rap, I can appreciate. <laughs> Sonny Kiss, you losing to a claim tonight because you can't get on TV to save your life. Oh. I'm leaving with my hand raised up. You got silicone in your pancake butt. Oh. What you hear that? I can appreciate these raps, man. Max Caster. The acclaim nobody here stopping us. Why is Penta hanging out with Count Chocula? <laughs> and Penta, I heard you're Pequeño. And your name is short for Pendejo. Oh. oh. Oh, man. This is good. These are actually pretty good. <laughs> They're talking about NXT. Uh, <laughs> Don't be mad at me, bro, because you only known for your wife's reality show. Oh. I'm going to put you in the poverty, dog, because I end careers quicker than your father-in-law. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Eat wrestling. I'm, I'm guessing that may have been an off air segment because they definitely, I don't know, maybe they did say NAC. I don't know. <laughs> That's crazy. Acclaimed in the guns with the fans prefer. We're about to make y'all pay like Amber Heard. Oh. FTR is better than most, but gotta ride Punk's coattails to get on the show. Here's a yes, Damn. Sting's going to learn a lesson. We have him looking worse than Star K97. <laughs> yep, that, that definitely was a, a, a major wrestling botch for the ages. That was good, bro. I enjoyed that. I I, I, I really enjoyed that, man. That I know some people may not find it entertaining. I did. I, I can appreciate him bringing in some actual bars. Some of them, they hit, and then some of them are misses. But most of them are hit, and the crowd gets excited for the entrance. And that's the thing. You want to be able to get the crowd excited, whether it's to cheer you, boo you, whatever. You want them to care. Once they don't care, you got some major work to do. So, But comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys enjoy his entrance? Do you guys enjoy the raps that he does? Or do you think it's... it's it's, it's kind of cringe. Let me know down below. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 90K. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See y'all next one. Peace.